Hello guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Today, we have a special guest for you guys. We have one of our medical providers, Chenille. Hello everyone, and uh, thank you so much for having me here. It's an honor to be here with you today. You're welcome. So Chenille, we want to bring you on here. So what exactly is your background and what do you do for Titan Medical Center? Yep, excellent. So I'm an advanced practice registered nurse. Um, I've been in the medical field as a nurse for 10 years and I have been an advanced practice registered nurse for the past four years. So what that means is I started out as a nurse, I went back to graduate school, um, which then gave me the background that I needed to be able to diagnose, treat, and care for patients at an upper level um, scale. So I do work very closely with doctors and other medical providers to provide adequate care to patients. And at Titan Medical, we um, center our focus around balancing hormones, um, optimizing overall health, wellness goals, and really just getting to the root of some of those problems that patients have. Um, and in, in addition to that, we have a vitamin and amino acid therapies, medical weight loss, detox and rejuvenation, mm -hmm. and a whole plethora of different um, therapies to help patients achieve their goals. Wow, that sounds <laughs> awesome. So we've, we've pretty much helped every patient achieve their goal, what they're really looking for. And I think that's the big thing, right? Now, can you tell us a little bit about how hormone imbalances can affect people mentally, physically, just on the day-to-day -day basis for them? Hormones are a very important part of the body. They um, relate to and send messages to many different organs in the body that tell those organs how to respond in different ways and when to respond and what actions to promote within the body. So if one of those hormones is not signaling properly or isn't being sent properly by one of those um, endocrine uh, glands, mm -hmm. it's going to disrupt a lot of different functions in the body, which will then be determined based on the organ that is being affected by that. So say it's um, your estrogen levels, your testosterone levels, whatever the case may be, that can cause different fluctuations, which can then cause different symptoms such as low libido, energy levels, poor sleep quality, decreased mental focus and concentration, um, can also cause water retention, difficulty in weight loss, uh, all kinds of different things, and that's just to name a few. So it's really important to keep those levels balanced um, to really just optimize your health. And not only that, keep some of those other hormones balanced as well. Sounds super important for somebody to really check after and look for. So Chanel, how can bringing back some of these hormones or optimizing some of these hormones really help patients, males and females? It's a great question. So when you are rebalancing these hormones, um, it can certainly help alleviate a lot of these symptoms that the patients are experiencing, um, which can of course improve energy levels, their libido, sometimes even their relationships because that can be causing quite a disruption in that aspect of their life. Um, you know, we have had several patients that do come back to us and say, you saved my marriage because, you know, my wife wasn't happy, I wasn't happy, whatever the case may be, which is unfortunate, um, especially when it was something that was out of their control in that aspect. So by balancing hormones, you're not only improving just overall symptoms that the patient's experiencing, but sometimes the most important things in their day-to-day -day life as well. So it's really important to make sure you're looking at the whole picture and not just the labs or you know whatever the case may be yeah that's awesome so i mean it sounds like this is really going to help somebody in their day-to-day -day life um, some of these things that they might not even know that they'd be, be experiencing like these symptoms and stuff like that and just chalk it up to maybe i didn't sleep enough last night maybe i'm not eating correctly or something else is going wrong or i'm just like this you know they really don't know what it is can you tell us a little bit about why lab testing is so important and then maybe a few tests that, you know, hormones and things like that that should be ran that maybe PCPs and regular doctors don't usually run at their regular checkups? Absolutely. So um, looking at the whole picture of hormones is very important and that's not something that you want to guess on because as we kind of said earlier, depending on what type of organ system is involved can merit many, merit many different symptoms that are associated um, with that organ structure. And sometimes the symptoms can be very similar between the two. So if you're not adequately checking and looking to see what needs to be replaced or balanced, you can be correcting the wrong thing. Um, which is often, as an example, what you see when people try and correct their own testosterone levels or estrogen levels. 
um, and really it was an estrogen that was too low or too high and they just pound on more testosterone mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be um, and then they end up doing more harm than good and in that regard even then shutting down the body's natural ability to produce that hormone um, and you ended up in a worse case than you were to begin with. Wow. I mean, so it's really a really balancing act of what you're doing and making sure that you're monitoring these things. And like Sharice said, some regular doctors, like some guys go in and they usually get a checkup. They say, you know, you're healthy as a horse, right? You know, my doctors always say that. And I, you know, what does that mean? You know, is it my cholesterol is healthy as a horse? My liver, my kidneys are good. Um, but I, when I asked my general practitioner, this was 10 years ago, my general doctor, right? My primary care doctor, you know, about testosterone and stuff like that. He said, well, why do you want to check that? You know, well, I'm having some of these symptoms and well, you don't need that right now. Or they might just not know about it. So that's really cool that we're checking and you're really looking at some of these different tests that a lot of general practitioners or primary care doctors are not looking at. So that's really, really cool. Um, you know, so when a patient does come in, how much time do you usually spend with them? And why do you usually spend that time with them? What do you usually go over? I Absolutely. Guess? So I am one of those providers that absolutely thinks it's just extremely important to spend as much time with the patient as the patient needs. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the benefits of working with Titan Medical is, you know, we're not trying to just flip patients. We're actually taking the time, spending the time um, to make sure we're answering all the questions, explaining exactly what the protocols are, why we are giving certain medications, so that there is no guessing about it. I want the patient to know that, you know, they're in good hands. We really genuinely care about their overall well-being and how they're doing on their regimens um, and making sure that everything's balanced appropriately, um, which is why follow-up is also extremely important. Um, and follow through and just being available to the patient in between the next follow-up appointment via phone call, email, whatever the case may be, um, so that they have confidence in us taking care of them um, and themselves in doing their regimen. So um, typically I'll spend anywhere depending on um, the type of appointment it is, of course. Uh, for new patients, usually anywhere between 20 to 45 minutes. Sometimes I've even gone up to an hour if the patient has a lot of questions that need wow. to be answered. Uh, because I do want to make sure that they're confident and they, they are feeling good about the regimen and what's being prescribed to them. Um, for follow-up appointments, generally it's a little bit less because I'd like to think I answered all the questions yep. up front. Um, and sometimes that can be anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes or so. Wow, so it's really important for the patient to know what's going on. Um, I think, that, you know, Chenille has went over the blood testing, what the patient's really gonna, you know, perceive when they come in as far as treatment wise they're going to know what the benefits are the possible negative side effects if there is any and just overall what we're going to do to benefit them um, so it's really really cool and a lot of times i know that you know regular doctors or even primary care physicians or whoever it might be even your specialists nowadays i know that they don't really have the time to spend with the patients so i know that you know that you think that's very very important as well absolutely and so do we. So if you're wanting to become a patient with Titan Medical Center and you need the special care, I think that we're here to help people. So we want people to call or text 727-389-3220 to be able to get the professional experience for our medical providers and our care. You're not only a patient with Titan Medical Center, but family. And we think Absolutely. about it as family. So we want you to become part of the Titan Medical Center family. And uh, that's it. And then maybe you'll get to meet Chanel as well and have the positive experience of working with her and letting her answer all your questions. So thank you, Chanel, for coming on. Thank you so we much. We appreciate everybody for tuning in. Pleasure's all mine, thank you. What's up guys, John here from Titan. And today I wanna to talk about something that gets brought up a lot. My male patients in particular. And that is erectile dysfunction. So erectile dysfunction is a very common thing. A lot of people don't want to talk about it. Right? They're, they're either embarrassed, their ego, whatever it may be, they might feel less of a man. So they don't they just don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it with their partner, they don't want to talk about it with a medical provider, you know, they're in denial in some circumstances. Um, they just don't want to hear it or, or feel about it or even care. So let's talk about erectile dysfunction. So erectile dysfunction. It affects over 30 million guys in the United States. Maybe more, because that's just the people that are talking about it, okay? The second thing is, is it's not a part of aging. So it doesn't matter how old you are. Now, 
the research does show that if you're over 40, you're at a higher risk of having mental health dysfunction. But that's not because of aging. It's usually because of health issues. And that's one of the main things that causes erectile dysfunction. So poor circulation, blood flow, that, that's affecting your erections. That's one of the biggest ones. Now being obese, this is another high risk category for erectile dysfunction. You know, being obese, over 25 on your BMI in particular, you're at a very, very high risk for erectile dysfunction. Now there's other things that affect erections, okay? So let's talk about some of those different ones like alcohol, drugs, okay? Stress, anxiety, high cholesterol, diabetes, heart disease, smoking all these different things and there's a lot more okay there's just some of the different ones i want to name because those are the most common things that people deal with every day or are, are doing okay and when you're doing these different things or have these different issues going on this is not only going to affect your health but as guys it's going to affect our reactions and this can affect us in a lot of different ways in our life and by having erectile dysfunction it could cause issues with your self-confidence it can cause issues with your partner per se because not performing they want to know why what's going on what's the problem is it me that's you know, that's what the wife and girlfriend usually say you know at that point you might feel even more embarrassed like man what do i do about this like i just don't know what to do i don't know why this is happening to me so when you look at the different things that you're doing in your lifestyle or do you have some of these different health conditions and if you do have some of these different health conditions like i named you know talk to your medical doctor you know, talk to somebody that can actually help you with a needle enhancement because it's a part of, of li your life, right? The quality of life is to have good sexual function for yourself, for your partner. You want to make sure that you're good to go, okay? So when we talk about different medications, I'm not talking about drugs, I'm talking about illicit drugs, I'm talking about medications like for depression. These different medications can cause erectile dysfunction. And it's not your fault. You may have serious depression and you may need these medications so you feel all right, okay? So if you have to take these depression medications or antidepressants, then at that point, you need to talk to your medical provider about possible libido enhancement. Something that's gonna help you, you know, have erections and be confident in the bedroom. Now, sometimes it really doesn't come down to erectile dysfunction physically, but some people have erectile dysfunction mentally, okay? And it might be an insecurity or something that happened to them previously in their life some sort of stressful event that can cause problems in the bedroom, that's not your fault either. Now, if you guys are just tired of your partner or you're angry at your partner and that's one thing, that's a whole different story. If there was something that happened in the past that could be mentally blocking you to having good sexual function, you may need a libido enhancer. So don't be ashamed. That's the big point out there. There's people out there that can help you guys. At Titan Medical Center, we can help you guys. We have all different powerful combinations, you know, for all different types of people. No matter what your, your status is or what your health status is, we can help you guys so we can improve your quality of life. Because you want your partner feeling good, you want to feel good, and you want that self-confidence there, right? So we can help you guys and we can provide that. So if you guys are looking for libido enhancement, if you guys think you have erectile dysfunction and you want to talk to somebody, then you guys should call or text us at Titan. The number is 727-389-3220. What's up guys? John here. Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. And this one is going to be birthday edition. <laughs> So uh, whose birthday is it? <laughs> my birthday's coming up here uh, in a couple days, so it's gonna be twenty-five. Yeah, I wish. I wish <laughs> I could. I could move back the hands of time to go back to twenty-five. Um, actually, forty's coming on. So at that point, you know, for me, it's just another day, another number. You know, as long as I'm feeling twenty-five, right, mm -hmm. and hopefully looking almost looking. twenty-five, yep. maybe thirty. Uh, <laughs> at that point, I think I'm gonna be good, right? As long as I feel younger, I'm, I've got the energy, and I'm good to go. Really, birthdays really don't matter to me. Yeah. Just another 
just another day, like I said, another milestone hitting 40. That's another big one, part of the 40 club. So, uh, you know, we thought it was uh, just, you know, a good idea to maybe talk about birthdays with couples. I mean, that's, that's a thing that happens for both sides, male and female, and uh, you might might you know, celebrate in different ways. So let's talk about some of the different ways that you guys can celebrate your birthday, especially during COVID and all this craziness. Yeah, it's tough. And still have a good time and, and uh, make it special, right? So for birthdays, right? So if you have a significant other, like your girlfriend, your fiance, husband, or boyfriend, or whatever it is, um, you're usually going to celebrate your birthday with them. Mm -hmm. Now, you got family, and family, let's say they're in town, right? So you want to celebrate with your family on one end, and then maybe celebrate with your partner on a different you know, time, or like later that night, or whatever it is. Or friends. Yeah, or friends. Yeah. You can do friends, too, as of far course. as that goes. Friends and, 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 and uh, your significant other, but... I think it's really, really cool, like, where you can separate both mm -hmm. because, you know, family is like, you know, you have everybody over there, you're really having a good intimate. time. Yeah, it's a little bit more personal as far as that goes. You're, you're celebrating with your family. They're getting to see that day and, and celebrate with you. And then with your partner. So with your partner, it could be a whole different experience. Mm -hmm. You guys can go out to a romantic dinner. I mean, this kind of falls in line with almost all the romantic things you guys can do. <laughs> uh, but you guys can celebrate in different ways. Like you guys can go do something maybe you've never done before. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a different one. And with COVID out there, I mean, you guys can do a lot of different things here in the state of Florida, maybe not in the different states, but definitely something here. So do something you've never done before. That's yeah, one, That'd right? be fun. I mean, do something fun, you yeah. know, with your time. Cause yeah. you know, everything's so serious all the time with me and John. So, so serious. we try to do something on the off times or if we ever get a chance to be like, oh my gosh, this is a time to do something fun. <laughs> just for a reason, you know, just do something fun, you know, together. Take advantage of the time. Uh, you know, tomorrow is not promised. So at that point, sure. you know, when you're having a birthday, this should be memories and different things that you went through in your past. You should think about this. like how you've come to this point in your life you know what have you experienced good bad that's made you the person you are today mm -hmm. and then what changes do you want to put forward that's another thing that i think about on my birthday like all right i've done this you know my lifetime you know is there any other things that i want to accomplish uh, or i want to improve on in my life you know going forward because i don't know how much time i have so at that point i want to just knock out as much as possible before that old Grim Reaper comes a calling and come a knocking for me. Yeah, don't don't uh don't forget about your significant other's birthday either. I feel like that's happened to quite a few different people. Really? Yes. I've had a lot of people where they just kind of forgot about it. I don't know if it's just because after so many birthdays, some people, like for me personally, I make John's birthday like a big thing every year, right? It's usually a thing. You know, we have like a big dinner and it's like, it's, it's a thing. And everybody knows every year, that's what we do, right? Now on my birthday every year, I'm out of here, yeah. okay? I'm around, I don't want to be around anyone. I don't want to have any big celebrations. I literally just want to fly to an island and I don't want to talk to anyone for the whole day. That's like my birthday gift. So, you know, everybody just celebrates differently, you know? But I think there's been a few friends of mine, if you can believe that or not, but literally their significant other just forgot about their birthday just because they didn't talk about it all the way leading up to. You know, someone like, uh, for instance, my mom, she her birthday is the day after mine, but she celebrates it every day in July. So every day in July, you hear, oh, it's my birthday. I'm like, no, it's not. Fourth of July, it's my birthday. I'm like, no, it's not. <sighs> Tenth of July, it's my birthday. No, it's not. <laughs> so, you know, it's uh, it's everybody celebrates it a little bit differently. Not a birthday, but a birthday month. <laughs> okay? It's kind of crazy. And yeah. if you're forgetting about your significant other's birthday, you got an issue. Because, mm. you know, you got Facebook on there. It usually has their birthdays. <laughs> you can't find That's it. That's right. <laughs> so you should get a reminder at least, like, hey, listen, a birthday's coming up. Or look. I mean, you should definitely be able to know when your significant other's birthday is. Mm -hmm. There's some things that you don't want to forget when you're in a relationship. Yeah. That's your anniversary and your birthday. birthday yeah. For sure, 100%. <laughs> Those are two really, really important days, um, you know, especially to females. So if you're a guy, don't forget about it. Remember it. Put it in your phone. I mean, there's so much technology nowadays <laughs> that's going to remind you when some of these birthdays coming up. Yep. So if you don't have Facebook or you don't want to look at Facebook, you should know your your girlfriend or your significant other's birthday. Mm -hmm. Put it in your phone and have a reminder on there, and that way you know. Listen, their birthday's coming up. You better get prepared. Either you know, get the dinner ready, <laughs> go card. out, and get the card, go out and look for a gift of some sort. 
You know, at that point, get something special for him. And it doesn't have to cost a lot of money either. Mm -hmm. You know, it was really cool. Like, Sharice has got some stuff over the years where it's been, like, collages of pictures <laughs> of us and memories over these different years. And that's cool. That's very sentimental. That gets you thinking about all the good times you had back in the day. You know, and you look forward to the future at that point. Like, I can't wait to make more great memories like this. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really key, I think, having those things. It's not, you know, it's, it doesn't have to be materialistic. It doesn't have to be, like, Gucci or Louis or anything like well, that. Well, I but. mean, when it comes to this, right? So we've been together forever. Yeah. Right? And then, you know, he he has everything. So what, what do you get somebody that has everything? It's a, I mean, I think I've been asked I, that question I'll every what, single day this week. I'll tell you what, I, I got a good one. I got a good <laughs> tell response. Me, tell me, everybody take notes. So this weekend was really good. Like, we were there with some friends and stuff like that. Like, man, I don't know what you, I'm going to get you, John, right? And oh, this is good. It's a couple. Yeah. And at that point, it's, it's Big J the barber and his girl, his wife. Um, and she's like, oh, I got a good idea. I'm going to get you um, gift certificates for haircuts for Jay. <laughs> that was so smart. And that's where I get my haircut through. So at that point, I'm like, oh, that was a good one because... That's never gonna go out of style. I'm always gonna utilize that. Like, there's certain things like you wouldn't you, you wouldn't even think about because there's like there's so little, right? Yeah. And so minute, and you know, just use them day in and day out, or could use something day in and day out like that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it could be something so minute. So don't always think about the biggest thing or the baddest gift you can get somebody. Think about something they can really utilize every day or True. you know, in the month. I mean, even massages and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. if you get gift certificates for people. To get massage, that's a good one. It's a stress reliever. Somebody can always utilize something like that. It's mm -hmm. always going to be good for them. You know, it's just certain things like health. So tight medical center. If you're in the area, you gift get a card. gift certificate. <laughs> We've had people do that too. So like, listen, yeah. my mom's my mom's birthday's coming up. She's a patient today. there, right? Today. I want to get her a gift certificate for you guys. How Super do I purchase cool. it? So it was really cool, like stuff like that. Like, you know, there's certain things that do not ever go out of style. Mm -hmm. And then you can always utilize, you know, and then... Just look at some of the different things, I guess, like what they're they're doing or what they're a part of or a hobby or something like that. Mm -hmm. This again, you could look at their Facebook page or Instagram page and you're pretty much going to know what somebody's into because they usually post about it. Or you should be listening to your partner. <laughs> listen. <laughs> and if you listen and you retain, you're going to have a whole bunch of good ideas, hopefully. Yeah. Like, you know, you just know so much about your partner. You're like, all right, and like, they're going to love this for sure, hands down. It's like no guessing, like, are they going to like this? They're not. Maybe, I maybe, think. Maybe, you know, like, there's always some gifts that are just going to be home runs, right? Um, but for different people, if you give them that, that, like, really niche gift, they're really going to remember it. You got to, you know, just be, be careful. Definitely listen to your partner, but don't, yeah. but you got to make sure you're using common sense. I'll even use an example. So there was somebody that got a cake, well, it was my birthday, right? And I said I didn't like chocolate, right? I never said I didn't like like vanilla cupcakes or vanilla cake or vanilla, <laughs> vanilla period, because uh, it's not just chocolate. Uh, so they literally, they put like these three baked potatoes together and put a candle in the middle of the baked potatoes and was like, happy birthday. And I'm like, <laughs> what? this is so weird. Crazy. <laughs> so like, I mean, Let's be realistic about some of the things you guys are doing and don't go too far out there because sometimes when you go too far out there, it might not be like really cool. It might just be like... Use common sense. <laughs> Use common sense. Common sense. Sure. Not everybody has it, but you know. Not everybody has it, think but... Think about it. You know, think about just it. Think and, about and, it. You know, maybe even ask a friend, like, <laughs> do, you th friend. do you think that this could be good? <laughs> ask Jeeves. <laughs> ask and somebody. They'll literally give you a good answer. I mean, another thing that you guys can do is, is you guys can always Google, right? And Google like, yeah. best gifts... Um, for women age 40 or whatever it is. You can even go on Amazon. Amazon has these different categories you can look oh, up. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, that's so good to know. I was actually doing this with my niece because she's young. And I'm like, I don't know what like young, like five-year-old or six-year-old girls are into these days. Like, that's not my department. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a guy. I grew up as a boy, obviously. <laughs> I'm going to stay a boy. Um, <laughs> I know what I can get my son, what would probably be cool with him. But my niece... Like, I'm thinking, like, you know, plush unicorns, like, Barbie? you know, Barbies yeah. and, like, all this different stuff. But, like, you know, come to, you know, find out she's, like, into, like, the little play sets and, like, all these different things. Oh, yeah. And you you literally look up these categories and it gives you all different types of varieties of different gifts at different price points. And that's another way you can do it, too. So, if your significant other isn't by you and you need to send them a gift, 
there's a good way to do it. Mm-hmm. Amazon, I know everybody wants to buy local and stuff like that, but Amazon delivers everywhere in the world pretty much. Yeah, just so you guys can look for it. Don't probably, order it this week with all the storms. Yes, <laughs> the storms are a bad, bad thing going on. But you guys can find these different ideas out there mm-hmm. by just looking online. It's real simple and real easy. So if you're like, I just don't know what to get her or get him, look at these different categories. Look at And then look at the reviews. Whatever you're gonna buy, make oh, yeah. sure you're looking through the reviews, and Truth. they might not all be good. You know, you can't please everybody, but if the majority of them are good, mm-hmm. then you guys can always look into doing that. You know, for sure, that's always a good one. I mean, even for me, I like I love like shoes or you know some comfortable Nike shoes. clothes or yeah. and stuff. I like would that. never be able to get him shoes or Nike clothes because <laughs> I just he has enough of them. <laughs> Don't I, give me any more shoes. I have, to, I have to get really creative, you know. And after that, I, I guess after so many years, it's kind of like, you know, you you get to a point where it's like, what's a present, you know? Right. What's a present? And then you got to then you gotta plan a day or something, yeah. you know, do something cool, go yeah. somewhere cool, do something so that it's a memory, not even a present, you know? So just, you know, there's many ways to celebrate birthdays and make it, you know. Don't become special. complacent, okay? So... Want to finish up on that point right there. Don't become complacent. If you're in a relationship, if you're starting a new relationship, you should definitely not be complacent. Make sure you go over above and beyond for your significant other's birthday. Mm-hmm. I think that's the biggest point in, in everything. Make sure you make it a day or a night to remember. Outfits. They okay? never go out of style, guys. Definitely. You females, <laughs> listen up. Take notes. Pigtails, too. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, so, guys, this has been another Cupid's Corner birthday edition We want to thank you guys for tuning in week in and week out. We're giving you guys this feedback. We love it. Thank you. Continue to support us. And we'll keep giving you guys this great information, tips, and tricks to ignite or to boost that relationship you guys are in. All right, guys. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're signing off. We'll see you next Sunday. Keep us corner. Happy birthday, Daddy Boo.